Welcome back to philosophy class. This is Aletha saying, I hope you had a good summer. Is life measuring up to what you expected? This past spring, I heard many graduation speeches. Maybe you did also, or maybe you've heard some in the past. Some of them may have been your own or those of a family member's graduation. What would you say was the common theme? Well, there were probably two versions of the same theme. The student speakers touted the message, we are the greatest class to graduate from, wherever they graduate from. We can accomplish whatever we set our mind to do. We will change the world. The featured speaker, usually emphasize, you have your whole life ahead of you. You can do whatever you choose to do and make a difference to the world. Both of these are partially true. You can strive to be the best you can be, and no matter what transpires in your life, you have the ability to make a difference in the world and in someone else's life. If these speeches sound like something you have heard, how's that working out for you now? There was little talk of the realities that you might be facing in life. The reality that you no longer are in your circle of classmate friends, and now you have a feeling of loneliness with no friends as you step out into a new venture. The reality that at this level of education, it's not easy to get the good grades, and now you feel like the dumbest person in the class. You may have been a straight-A student, and now you're getting Bs, and you're just devastated reality that you used to be the best athlete and now you are challenged by others with more talent than yourself. The reality that you are finding it difficult to obtain a job in the area of your degree. The reality that the company has brought in a new person who has now taken the position that you had hoped to get. And there are the realities that shape our world. Things seem out of control and there are realities of sin in the world and in ourselves. There's also the reality of the consequences of our own bad judgment. There was little talk about having a relationship with God and asking Him into your life to help guide your decision making, to rely on Him instead of yourself as you make these choices. Proverbs 3, 5 tells us, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. The world tells us, seek power, popularity, prestige, and privilege. Those may help us gain status and money to buy all the toys and stuff that our hearts desire. How different the message that Jesus gives us. He who is least among you all is the greatest. Again, Jesus taught, how does it profit a man to gain the whole world and yet lose his spirit? By using our talents to serve others, we gain eternal blessings. So is the Bible telling us to be a milk toast or a whipping post? Not at all. God gave us gifts and abilities to use to help those less fortunate than ourselves and to make the world a better place. God gives doctors knowledge to find cures for diseases. He gives farmers the ability to produce enough food to feed the world. He gives others the ability to create transportation, to deliver all kinds of aid, and missionaries to people in underdeveloped countries. The ability to collect and to distribute food and supplies to areas of disaster or the needy among us. God gives us technology to advance the proclamation of the gospel around the world. God gives each person the ability to perform any task to the best of his ability. Garbage collectors, maids, food handlers, factory workers, construction workers, you add your own occupation. Every job performed to the glory of God is worthwhile and will bless people in a diverse number of ways. Life brings hardship and disappointments along with the joys and the successes. It's how we deal with these issues that creates character. With the Lord on your side, you have a guide through the minefield of life. While you strive to be all that you can be, think about how the desires God has placed in your heart can be used not just for your own gratification, but also to make life better for someone else.
my prayer for you is that you may grow in grace and in the love of God to truly become the person God has created you to be. And may you reflect his love to all who you meet. This past spring, I had heard this past.